my name is Mark Harmon and I'm the owner of Mark Harmon Photography in Orlando, Florida. In this video, I'll be discussing tips on how to capture great action shots at a nighttime football game. When photographing any action shot, the key to freezing the action is to use a fast shutter speed. For football, I recommend using at least a 500th of a second, but it's best to go as fast as the lights in the football field will allow. Now, why do the football field lights matter? because depending on how bright they are will determine how long your shutter will have to stay open to correctly expose for the image. And the longer the shutter stays open, the more chance you'll have of getting a blurry photograph. So you want as fast of a shutter speed as possible. There are other factors involved that will allow you to shoot a quicker and crisper image. First, you will want to set your ISO as high as you can without producing too much noise in the image. This differs from camera to camera, but you should be safe at around 1600. Try it at around 3200 or even a few at 6400 to see how your camera responds. The more you can push your ISO, the quicker your shutter speed can be. The other factor is your lens's aperture or f-stop. The smaller the number, the larger the opening, which allows more light in. You'll want to set your f-stop at the smallest number your lens will allow. The more expensive lenses can be set at f2.8 or less. And since we're talking lenses, a telephoto lens is the right tool for the job here. The longer the better. If you're able to stand on the sideline, you still need to get at least 200 millimeter lens or one that zooms to 200 to reach out and get the right in on the action. A technique that will help to freeze the action even more is to pan with the movement of the players. This takes some practice, but after some time you'll get the hang of it. I also suggest using a monopod such as this one to keep your camera steady and to keep you from getting tired. Let's face it, this rig gets very heavy after a two hour game. So try using some of these techniques, settings, and tools next time you want to capture some sports action at the football game. And as always, have fun and never stop learning.